Hello everyone, welcome back to Crack Suite. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily install Android 14 custom ROMs in 2024 on your smartphones in just three steps. And also I'll provide step-by-step -step guide and process to install custom ROMs, specifically focusing on the beginners who don't have much knowledge, but want to install custom ROM on their phone. So don't worry, I'll explain this video in the most simplest and easiest way possible. Moreover, I'll demonstrate how how to install custom roams on encrypted and non-encrypted phones without formatting the phone and also without losing any data. So without further ado, let's start the video. If you are aiming to install custom roams on your phone, the initial step for every Android device is to unlock the bootloader. This process varies among different companies, for instance companies like OnePlus and Samsung makes it relatively easy, while for phones like Xiaomi and Realme it's more of a lengthy process rather than a difficulty. Some companies such as Oppo and Vivo do not allow bootloader unlocking at all. Firstly, ensure that your phone permits bootloader unlocking. I have created a dedicated video on this topic. Instead of incorporating the full process in this video, check the description section below for the dedicated bootloader unlocking video. There I have discussed and addressed possible errors and problems you might encounter during the bootloader unlocking process. Now let's move on to the second step. Step 2. After successfully unlocking the bootloader, the second step involves installing a custom recovery on your phone. Custom recovery on Android serves as a tool enabling advanced tasks such as installing custom ROMs, kernels, creating backups, fixing problems, and playing a crucial role in rooting your phone. If you are interested in rooting your Android phone, including those based on Android 14, check out my video in the description section below. Returning to the topic, custom recovery opens up more possibilities for your phone. Some popular custom recoveries include TWRP, Orange Fox, Pitch Black, etc. These days, many custom ROMs come with their own custom recoveries. For example, Pixel Experience Custom ROM has Pixel Experience Recovery, CR Droid ROM has CR Droid Recovery, and Pixel OS ROM has Pixel OS Recovery. You can use these recoveries if you want to install the specific custom ROM. However, it's worth noting that you don't necessarily need to install these custom recoveries from custom ROM as they have some limitations. While custom ROM developers may suggest using their recoveries, if you already have a reliable custom recovery like TWRP, Orange Fox or Pitch Black and it works well for installing custom ROMs on your phone, there's no need to install additional custom recoveries. But if you encounter errors, you can consider switching to the recommended recoveries. In this second step, Step, ensure you have a custom recovery on your device. I have created a dedicated separate video on this topic also that is available in the description section below. Watch both videos to unlock the bootloader and install a custom recovery either from the description section or by searching online. Step 3. The final step, the third one, involves downloading a compatible custom ROM for your phone model and installing it through the custom recovery. You can search online for the compatible custom ROM or explore telegram channels for options. Now I'll practically showcase the ROM installation process on my Redmi Note 9 Pro Max device. I have already unlocked the bootloader and installed custom recovery on this device. When you are ready to install the custom ROM, there is a crucial step that many people overlook. First, navigate to the settings section and then proceed to security settings. At the bottom, you'll find additional security settings options. Tap on it. In the encryption and credential sections, you can check the encryption status of your phone. If it's encrypted, there's one method to install the ROM and if it's not encrypted, you will need to follow another method. In my case, as you can see, this phone is encrypted. For newcomers to the custom ROM installation process, encryption is common unless you have made extraordinary changes to your phone. Don't worry, later in this video, I'll also demonstrate the practical process of installing another Android 14 custom ROM on a non-encrypted device. How to install Android 14 custom ROMs on encrypted phones? As demonstrated, this phone is encrypted, running on Android version 13 and I'm about to install Android 14 ROM. I have already downloaded the compatible custom ROM and stored it in my internal storage. 
If your phone has a micro SD card, I recommend storing the ROM file in the micro SD card folder. I'll explain the reason shortly. To reboot your phone to recovery mode, use the dedicated option if available. Otherwise, for Xiaomi phones, long press the power and volume up buttons. Each phone has its method. Search online if needed. I have installed Orangebox custom recovery, but any other custom recovery works similarly. Now in the wipe section, select Talvik, Cache and Data Partition. Avoid internal storage to retain data. Swipe to wipe these partitions. Next, go to the file section, locate your custom ROM zip file and press on it. Ensure reboot after installation complete is disabled. Swipe to flash the ROM file. In my case, it's Project Elixir ROM based on Android 14. After flashing, press Home, go back to the wipe section and tap on Format Data. Confirm by typing Yes and pressing the check mark button. This formats your internal storage. Reboot to the system by pressing Reboot System. Note, formatting is necessary for encrypted devices. This is a clean flash. In a future video, I'll demonstrate a dirty flash for installing Android 14 custom ROM without formatting. Successfully installed Android 14 custom ROM, the device remains encrypted. This illustrates how to install Android 14 custom ROM on encrypted Android devices. How to install Android 14 custom ROMs in non-encrypted phones. Now let's proceed with installing the latest custom ROM on a non-encrypted phone after exploring the process on an encrypted device. As you can see, the current phone with me is decrypted. I have decrypted it and you can find instruction on how to do this in the description video. This phone is running Android version 13. To install the latest Android 14 custom ROM, download a compatible ROM. In this case, I've chosen CRDroid ROM based on Android 14. Notably, CRDroid ROM doesn't come with pre-installed Google applications, including the Play Store. To enable Google support, we need another file called gapps. I have downloaded Android 14 supported Nick gapps and the link will be provided in the description section. The additional file you see is the decrypted zip file, crucial for non-encrypted phones. I've covered this in detail in a dedicated video on encryption and decryption on Android phones. You can find it on my channel. To reboot to recovery mode, use the device's specific method. In my case, I have installed Pitch Black Custom Recovery. In the wipe section, go to the advanced section, select Talvik, Data and Cache Partition. Then swipe to wipe these partitions. Now tap on the install button, navigate to the folder with your files and select the ROM zip file. Add Nick gapps and the decryptor zip file. Optionally, check the reboot after installation is complete option and swipe to start the flashing process. The flashing process takes around 5 to 10 minutes. Once completed, the phone will either automatically reboot or require manual rebooting. In this method, there is no need to format the phone, a benefit of having a decrypted phone. However, keep in mind that decrypted phones are less secure than encrypted ones. For more details on encrypted and decrypted phones, check my video on encryption and decryption on Android phones in the channel or description section below. After rebooting, the phone now runs Android 14 with Android ROM, has Google Play Store installed and remains non-encrypted exactly as desired. So this concludes the process of installing Android 14 custom ROMs in both encrypted and non-encrypted phones in 2024. I hope you found this video helpful and if you do then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, share this video and subscribe to Cracksway YouTube channel. Also hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.